Oh, she must have just jumped on. Yeah, it looks like she actually is on. Oh, Katie, Katie Messer all got on. Hey, Katie, can you allow uh, Scott Dickens to uh, share his screen? Sorry, yeah, you know, I look awful. I just got back from a race, so I look awful. Um, did I do it? Can you do it? Yeah, now? you're. Yeah, you're. Rec you're recording right now. Yeah, yeah, and I can. I have access now. You do. Okay. okay. Thank cool. you. Cool. Let's 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 rock and roll then. Um, thanks, Katie, for hopping yes. on. Sorry about that. No, it's fine. All right. Um. Yeah. So we've got Scott Dickens tonight with us from Form Goggles, which is super exciting. Uh, we partnered with Form this year. Um, I've. I've had a pair of form goggles, I think probably two years now. I don't know, like right when they first came out, I think I got a pair. And uh, so those maybe two years ago or a year ago, I can't remember, but they're awesome. And uh, so we're going to let Scott talk about um, how you can utilize them in the pool, uh, what they do if you've never heard of form, um, and then kind of how, uh, you know, obviously how to utilize them and then uh, kind of our partnership with them. And then when we when Scott gets done, we'll have Q&A. So if anybody's got questions, throw it in the chat. Um, and then if we have some time at the end, we'll let the coaches kind of jump in if any if any coaches are on and uh, and use form goggles and want to just kind of talk about their experience. Uh, that would yeah, be, that would be cool. too. So, um, all right, Scott, let's let's rock and roll, man. Thanks so much. I uh, appreciate uh, you guys having me on the call today. Uh, it's a pleasure to be working with all of you uh, and the team. Uh, fantastic team you guys have uh, really share a common passion uh, of triathlon and a love for sport. Uh, I do as well. Uh, I wouldn't be in the business if I didn't. Um, but my background is uh, really predominantly swimming. Uh, I went to two Olympic Games for swimming. Uh, so I swam my whole life, uh, still swim, uh, but not as intense as I used to. And just trying to uh, keep a float in the water and figure out how to run uh, with both my flexible ankles. But really excited to talk to you more about the uh, form goggles and uh, kind of this whole swim platform. And really want to highlight how when you think about the sport of triathlon form is looking at helping you train the way that you train for other disciplines. Uh, and I'll get into that as I kind of start the presentation. All right, let's kick it off. All right. Um, so if you guys have never heard about form, uh, we make a pair of smart swim goggles, uh, and have evolved over the years. Uh, we launched in 2019, uh, just before Kona, and we had two target segments in mind, uh, competitive swimming, uh, sorry, three target segments in mind, competitive swimming, fitness swimming, and triathlon. And when we really saw how much the triathlon industry uh, took to our product and what we were trying to do, uh, we really started to lean into that. Um, and for the reasons like, you know, Triathlon is a sport that's surrounded by data and qualitative state training. And that's really important because you often train on your own and having that data allows you to be able to train more efficiently. So just a bit of background, uh, our purpose at Farm is to make one of the best exercises in the world uh, the most fun. Swimming has been, uh, you know, in a lot of papers about the benefits of what can it do for you as, uh, you know, for your cardiovascular health. You guys are in triathlon. You obviously know that all the things that you do are great for your health, but swimming in particular um, can be you know, challenging at times given the resistance you fight and the technical aspects. So some of our brand promises are, we wanna help you become a better swimmer by utilizing data and seeing real-time feedback to understand how you're swimming in order to make incremental improvements. And not only that, we wanna help you love swimming even more. Uh, being a competitive swimmer myself, um, now that I swim on my own and not with a squad or a team, uh, I'm not going to lie. I don't like staring at a black line. It's really boring and it's really lonely. Uh, and I ha had a big hiatus of where I wasn't in the water uh, for quite some time. And then, you know, when I joined Form, uh, it got me back in the water simply because it felt like I had a coach with me or something uh, to keep me engaged. Uh, similar to like I was never a good runner or didn't like running. But as soon as I got my Garmin, I started to really enjoy being out there and understanding how I was doing and doing more structured workouts simply because I had the data and it was allowing me to understand how I was doing in the moment and 
find ways to improve as well as keep my form in check when I was following a structured workout for my coach. Uh, because often I would either try too hard at the start or not follow the protocol and have no way to gauge how I was doing because I didn't have that feel for running the same way I did for swimming. So when we think about the sport of triathlon, you have the ability to get real-time data and understand how you're performing in the moment when you run. You have your watch, whether it's a Garmin, a Wahoo, so on to Apple, whatever it is you're using, but you can see this data while you're running uh, by simply glancing at your watch. And this allows you to understand whether you're at this targeted heart rate, your targeted pace, uh, allows you to act more actively split your miles, or if you're in kilometers like myself, and let's say you have a long run coming up and it's more of a low intensity run because it's maybe end of the week. But if you didn't have your watch on you, you could have had a great night's sleep. You could have been feeling really good. And you just simply went out there. How would you know if you're overdoing it or not? Your watch and your data allow you to stay in the targeted zone and prescribed effort range. And it essentially allows you to check performance. A similar goes for when you're on your bike, whether you're indoor or outdoor. Outdoor, you have your power meter, your bike computer. And inside you got your smart bike trainers. This allows you to understand your efficiencies and correlate your RPM to your watts and stay in those targeted zones. We have erg mode when we were on the bike. It's a fantastic way to train more uh, accurately and consistently. But for example, you're not always on erg mode because when you get out on the open road, you know, you can't just have that targeted uh, watts and just stay right in it. So you really have to be able to control your watts as through your RPM. So if you have inconsistencies in your pedal stroke on your bike, you'll see that through the real-time data. But what also it allows you to do is you start to figure it out pretty quickly and find ways to smooth out that pedal stroke and stabilize your power. Then you got swimming. And we, and you think about it, you train so accurately with running and biking using data. Yet in swimming, most athletes rely on a watch or the, the uh, pool clock that you can't see until you're done. Watches have amazing data that they record while you swim, but not being able to see it is an incomplete data set. And there's missed areas of opportunity because it's one thing to understand how you're doing from interval to interval, but it's another thing to know how you do within the interval. So between uh, the walls while you're swimming, and that's really really where form is coming in to help you understand how you're swimming from length to length. Because let's say you were doing a, a set of like five 200s, for example, common set or even 10, whatever the number might be. And let's say you're going like three minutes and 30 seconds per 200, or you're going 330, 329, 331, 330, 329. You might think that, wow, I'm really holding my pace quite well, but what you often don't see and what we see through the data is that you'll start out, a lot of people will start out maybe going like, you know, 47 seconds and then 49. And you just kind of see that slow down of the pace throughout the interval. But without being able to see that in real time, you think that your pace is actually consistent when you're all over the place. And that's where form goggles really hone in on helping you understand you versus you. So you can get your splits at every single turn. You can see your pace per 100 for each length as well. When you correlate that with our real-time stroke rate, which is the cadence of your arm, so your strokes per minute, think about that like your RPM when you're on your bike. If you compare your RPM to your watts and combine those two, you're really able to hone in on accuracy and efficiency. Well, if you are able to stabilize your strokes per minute, your arm cycle, and correlate that to your splits at every single turn as well as your pace, you can see where you have gaps. And if you're not able to stabilize and hold it to consistent stroke rate, it more than likely means your pace is also all over the place. So by working on and targeting these metrics, you can really start to understand where you have the areas to improve. And if you're seeing that your splits are dropping off within an interval, you can start to try different ways of swimming those intervals within your workouts, like holding back on your effort to try and be more even split. And what this will do is start to make you a much more consistent swimmer, which ultimately helps you swim at using less effort. Because at the end of the day, you're not going to you know, win the race on your swim, but you can lose it because you might be using excess energy because you're fighting the water and not pacing efficiently. So your bike is going to hit, get hit, and more important, your run is going to get hit. So the goggles allow you to kind of 
learn how to be more consistent within each workout so that on race day, that feel is then calibrated using data. This is a great video um, from one of our partners, uh, Centera Tech. So Olaf is the coach of Christian Blumenfeld and Gustav Eden, uh, world champions, uh, Ironman, 70.3 and full distance, uh, but kind of highlights why swimming with real-time data is important. Can you guys hear it? No. Can you hear that? No. <laughs> Sorry. I was using AirPods and it's playing through my own ears. Let me try this. You have no feedback before you're done with your, your interval. So when you come back at the deck, then the coach gives you some feedback, but it's already too late. We need basically to provide our athletes with biofeedback as they're swimming. So when you're swimming, I want you to be able to see how efficient you are in the water. And by giving you, for example, speed in real time back to you, giving you stroke rate, for example. So one thing that we, we very often see when an athlete starts to fatigue is that there you are increasing for the same speed, the stroke rate starts to increase. And when you can have this kind of feedback straight back in the goggles here, in a hot up display, that means that you can become more conscious about this and focus on this and trying to now target your efficiency. It's a great way to just highlight, you know, um, that the data that you get when using a watch or the clock on the wall is too late. And by seeing it in real time, it allows you to, you know, understand how you're doing when you're swimming. And not only, you know, you, you think about the data from your watch, it's, it is great data, but you are constantly, you know, lapping when you push off and when you come into the wall. And often what you see is that athletes push the lap button on their watch at, after they're pushed off and before they hit the wall. So those data points are actually inaccurate because they're not true to the full interval. Where our goggles are fully automated, you don't actually have to press any buttons. We use machine learning. So we know when you're swimming, what stroke you're doing, when you're resting, it's all based on your head movement. And uh, we use an accelerometer, gyroscope, and uh, a magnetometer. And this allows us to have much more seamless swim experience where you can just swim and not have to worry about pressing any buttons. So what is form? We're a swim training platform powered by our goggles. And you think about where we're going with form, it's similar to like Zwift for biking. You come to us to execute your swim. And not only can you use over a thousand different workouts and plans that we have in our app, but more importantly, you can swim your coach's workouts using the custom workout builder that we have. Simply input the workout uh, in a couple of minutes, and then you can go swim that workout via the goggles. Or in a couple of months, what we're going to be really excited for is the Training Peaks integration, where you're just going to be pulling the workout straight from Training Peaks and loading it to your goggles. That's an awesome one we're in the works with with Training Peaks right now. So why form? Well, you're so used to swimming, uh, it's very training with data and other two disciplines. So why not swimming? It's helped solve a problem by bringing that data in real time while you're in the pool or open water. Eliminates guesswork, increases consistency, uh, helps you uh, increase your awareness so you can start learning how you're swimming, you versus you. Our guided workouts are very much like the erg mode of swimming. You can just like seamlessly be told what to do. Like for instance, you're doing 10 100s as your main set. It'll be essentially show you, you've done one of 10, two of 10, how much rest you're supposed to be taking, how hard to try, what equipment to use, and, and count down the distance within every single repeat so you never lose count. This increases engagement, motivation, and makes swimming a lot more enjoyable. And you're also getting highly accurate data, being, being able to send out to those platforms you use, such as Strava, Training Peaks, Today's Planet, or Final Search. You can simply link those accounts within the format. So what makes us unique? We're highly accurate swim tracker, we have in-depth analysis in the app. That's much different than the analysis you would see in a Training Peaks. We group sets by using machine learning so that you get a more 
full representation of what you did in the pool versus kind of lap length over length. We have all the workouts, an easy to use app, custom workout builder, and that's all patented, uh, sorry, delivered through our patented see-through display. So if you've never used our goggles, it's a very unique experience. The display is non-obstructive and you can see right through it. If you've ever been in a car that has the speedometer in a windshield and you can like see it when you want to see it, but also kind of like just, you know, not pay attention to it at all. That's very much what our heads up display is. Uh, it's true augmented reality. So when you're in the water, the display actually is not right in your eye. It actually projects out about five feet and it's just floating there with you when you want it. The key is to not like try and focus on it and look past it. And all of a sudden you're like, whoa, that's just like, it's there when I want it, but I can kind of tune it out when I don't want to see it. Um, as your partner, uh, we offer all team members 20% off. So the goggles are $249 and you get the first year of membership included, which is $180 value. After year one, the membership is $15 a month. You can pay that, uh, you can cancel that, you can pause that. It's very much like a Zwift model. What the membership gives you access to is our premium features, which are as our workouts, our plans, our workout builder, when we do integration with the third-party platforms like Training Peaks, and uh, all the content we'll be producing this year that goes into the app. As a paying member, you get 50% uh, off uh, goggles, uh, so you can get replacement goggles for 124. And as a member of MVDM, you get 20% off that price. So great opportunity as a team member to take advantage of uh, jumping into form. If you don't pay the monthly membership uh, in year two, you don't. Um, you still can use the goggles as activity tracking, get all the displays. You just can't see, like, do a guided workout. So you can still get you know, your time, your distance, your pace, your splits, all that in the open water, in the pool, and get all that data saved and sent out to third-party platforms. It's really those premium features. So don't worry if you uh, just wanted to get activity tracking, you can still do that for the rest of your life. So we have a lot of premium things that go into our goggles since we're technology delivered by goggles. So we have highest grade anti-fog, anti-scratch, 16 hour battery life, uh, gaskets that will never mold. I have seven different nose bridge eyes, uh, sizes. So you get that quality fit. Uh, the case is super important, helps protect your goggles when you're not using them. Uh, we have all the different metrics you could possibly want for swimming uh, in the goggles, which is fantastic. This is just a list of the ones that uh, are most common and most used, such as time, distance, pace, uh, splits, stroke rate, stroke count, distance for stroke. Those are very technical for swimming, which is the length of your stroke uh, cycle. Heart rate is uh, supported with polar OH1 or polar verity sense. The reason chest straps are not used because the Bluetooth signal from your chest to your goggles is too far and water and Bluetooth do not talk well, where the polar is a puck and it sits on your strap and the goggles and the heart rate are can speak to one another. Training with heart rate in the pool is phenomenal. It's just a whole game changer, how your body uh, operates in a horizontal position versus a vertical. Our guided workout experience is super simple. Erg mode swimming, simply choose a workout, load your workout, go swim, will walk you through the entire workout super seamlessly and it makes swimming just fly by. Being told what to do is like having a coach there underwater with you. It's, a, it's in the app, it's a custom workout builder, has everything you could possibly need. You can even put in your own custom drills, choose the equipment you wanna use, stroke types, really everything that goes into swimming. And you can use them in open water. So same goggles in the pool, in open water and in swim spas. You can use the goggles in open water, goggles only, and get time in real-time stroke rate, or you can use the goggles in open water paired to select Garmin and Apple Watches, where you're gonna get your GPS metrics pulled from the watch and displayed in the goggles. Brings so much relevancy to a type of swim where you don't really have anything to compare to, where it's like, I'm gonna to swim to that point and back. Well, it's like, well, how far is that point? You can't see your watch while you're swimming. You're not gonna probably stop midway and do that, so it gives you an understanding of how you're doing really well in the open water. I love it. Uh, just to also be clear, in the pool, you do not need a watch uh, to use the goggles. They're, that's not actually a thing. It's only in open water if you want the GPS data. Connected apps, so you can you know, sync out your data to Strava, to any Training Peaks, today's plan, Apple Health. And you, if you want to use the goggles connected to uh, Garmin in the open water, you just need to download the uh, form uh, 
data field off the Garmin Connect IQ app. Lastly, this year, the first Global Triathlon Awards, uh, we were really excited to uh, be named Best Swim Product. Uh, fantastic uh, acknowledgement from the uh, Global Triathlon Awards and uh, real excited about that. Um, but that's really it for I wanted to share and when you want to go to questions, but I really wanted to highlight, you know, given that you guys train so heavily with data, uh, we're really just trying to help you train the same way in your swimming discipline. And, you know, when you get your goggles, simply download the form app, create a form account, pair your goggles to your phone, link your external services in your profile, customize what you want to see in the goggles using your dashboards on the My Goggles tab, follow your friends, choose workout, build a workout, go swim. Simple as that. Awesome. <laughs> um, so we, we got a couple questions here. So we'll run through these questions. And then uh, if we got time, we'll have uh, coaches, if anybody's on here and wants to jump in and just talk about their experience with them, that'd be great. Uh, so let's start here. Um, can you wear them in a race? I don't, yeah, I think there's no, there's no rules that say you can't do that, right? No, if you can wear your Garmin, you can wear goggles because they don't translate any data uh, from an outwards, out, uh, outside source. Yeah, perfect. Um, cool. And then uh, is it safe to use anti-fog products on the goggles? Yeah, I would say use it with caution because the last thing you want to do is like our fingers and like things that we do, like I used to treat goggles like total garbage. Like I'm not going to lie. I my mold, I would toss them in my bag with everything else. It's really how you choose to care for your goggles that's going to help them last. That's why we have the protective case. Uh, but best thing you can do for your goggles is rinse them under tap water when you swim, keep them in the case, let them air dry. But if you are going to, you know, fog usually does happen. It's going to happen whether you're wearing sunglasses, ski goggles, form goggles, speedo goggles. Fog's inevitable. It's a, it's a thing of difference in temperature of your air, uh, the air outside or in the pool, your face to the goggles. You know, I neutralize it by just dunking my goggles in the water. Uh, that always helps. But anti-fog, yes, you can use it. Just, you know, don't use a ton. Um, and if you wanted to clean your goggles, the best way to do it is to use a bit of dish soap and just, you know, mix it around in the goggles, rinse it with warm water. Yeah, I was going to say the case is, uh, the case is fantastic. Uh, to, I mean, I just throw them back in there and, and they dry in there uh, really well. So um, let's see here. Uh, okay, so I mean, it is a tech product. So this is actually a pretty decent question. Like, I think with with cheap goggles, like you're kind of replacing them regularly, right? And this is a tech product where you have the that side of it where it's like, it's a goggle. So you might feel like you need to replace it. But then there's also like battery life, you know, stuff like that that goes into it. So what is kind of your guideline in terms of like, how often would the goggles need to be replaced? I mean, we were just at the endurance exchange in Austin. We had so many people come up to us and like, you know, I've been using the same pair for over two years now. And it's really a matter of like, if you take care of them, they last. But if you don't take care of them, you know, similar to anything else, it, they're going to wear. Like it's, it's a matter of human behavior and how much you want to care for them. But we have replacement parts. We have a two-year warranty on the goggles and we have a 30-day money back guarantee. So if you try them, you didn't like them, by all means, send them back. Um, but they do last. That's why we did not like source them out to like a Speedo or whatever. We had to build our own goggles because we're technology delivered through goggles. So we have to have the highest quality parts uh, to make sure they have that longevity. Um, I see the next question, uh, which is, what do you recommend as the best data to have showing in your goggles while swimming? Fantastic question. I kind of highlighted this during the presentation. 100% put real-time stroke rate as the metric you see while swimming, because that's the cadence of your arms. And if you're not able to like swim in a consistent cadence of your stroke, uh, your stroke rate, your effort's going all the way over the place, and so is your pace. So seeing that while you swim, 100%. Seeing your splits at every single turn so that how long it took you to swim each last length is really important because it's a more finite uh, measurement of your pace versus looking at pace per hundred, which is an average. Uh, and then also I recommend looking at your pace per hundred last length and comparing that to your splits. So those three working together really start to help you understand how you swim. Yeah, that's great. Um... I'll just, I'll start here as a coach too. And just say, I think when I first started using them, one of my biggest things or my biggest concerns, I guess, was like, just like getting distracted, I think. Cause like you, you see this thing and it's like, okay, this thing's going to be like directly in my eye, like while I'm swimming, 
is it going to be a distraction? And like, that's not even close to what it's like. It's, it's almost like it's not even there in some ways. Like you can look at it, but you, but you don't have to, it's, it's kind of hard to explain without like experiencing it. Um, Cause you think sure. that it being directly in your face, like you're just going to have to stare at it, but you really don't. Um, and so, I mean, everybody on here probably has heard us as coaches talk about how we want to eliminate distractions when we're swimming, right? Eliminate like hitting your watch. And so we, we coach a lot about, uh, you know, where we used to say, you know, Hey, get rid of your watch. Like, don't even wear it. Use the wall clock. Right. But like, I think form has kind of bridged that gap of eliminating something that can be distracting, like your watch and fumbling around trying to hit that lap time and, and do those things with it. Um, but then like also getting like real time metrics that you're not getting by using that wall clock. So you guys have kind of bridged that gap of, you know, creating like the best possible scenario where it's not distracting and you get the data at the same time. And then you just don't have to worry about it. Like, that's the other thing I love about it too. Like I would put the goggles on and you just swim and it just does it. Like it just, it just knows like when you're, you know, when you're going to switch from hundreds to two hundreds to three hundreds, it, it, parses all that data out for you uh, while you're swimming. It tracks uh, drills, which is great, obviously, because everybody wants to get, you know, all their yardage in on their swims. Uh, so uh, you don't want to miss out on your 400 or 500 yards of kicking. So um, <laughs> are there any other coaches that are on here that want to jump in and, and talk about it? I know we we all kind of got to, uh, we've been using them now for a couple of months. So I'll say that um, one thing that's also been nice, and you kind of mentioned this on the splits is, you know, especially if we're doing longer efforts, the first 25, you're like, dang, I feel so good. And then you slowly start to realize as an effort goes on, your form starts to fall apart, or maybe your pace starts to drop and having that data as it is your stroke rate. Um, and things like that, that can kind of help hold you accountable on why is my pace falling off? You know, is it because my form's falling apart and my stroke rate is slowing down and things like that, that can be really helpful to know that a watch wouldn't pick up, you know, a watch doesn't always pick up 25 yard splits. So, um, the data component is, is a huge thing. And, um, kind of like Mike was saying, I, I will say the first couple of times I use them, I did find myself like staring at the data, but as you continue to use them, it kind of does just go off to the side and it's not so much a focal point and you're able just to kind of get back into your routine. Um, so it's nice to have it there, but it, it definitely isn't a distracting thing while you're doing your workout. Those are great points. Yeah, I think too, like if you've used a bike computer, I think form is like, I kind of equate it to like the bike computer in the water, right? Like you have, you have all of these different metrics you can kind of pick from, which are great. Right. And like, you'll figure out which ones like you want to see how you want to set it up. So I think like getting them and using them over the course of, you know, a couple of swims, you'll start to really like hone in on like, you know, it can kind of be a little bit of uh, overwhelming at first, right? Because you're like, Oh, I want to see this and that and this and that. And so you like put all these data screens on there and then it's like, okay, well, I'm really only using, these like two or three things. And those are the ones you want to focus on. So I, there's a really good question here that I want to address. So uh, somebody asked if, if we pay for, if we do, basically, if we do master swim with Natasha and Austin, we have a lot of athletes doing that uh, group type setting in Austin, and you can kind of speak to this too. But I would say that the, the, if you're doing a group swim, your goggles essentially just become like your watch, like you don't, you, you're not like doing a specific workout. You're not following a prescribed workout, but you're able to see kind of like your, your data in the middle of a hundred or a 200 or a 300. You can see that stroke rate. You can see your current pacing, uh, yeah. all those things. And so it really just kind of the goggles at that point can kind of replace your watch. But then on top of that, like if you don't go to a master swim one day, or you are doing like an individual workout, then you also have the ability, especially within that first year where you get the, the subscription for free, then you have the ability to, to, to do those workouts or to upload your own workouts, stuff like that. Is that kind of how you've talked about it with, cause I'm sure, I'm sure you have a lot of like group, you know, swim teams or, you know, groups yeah. that are, that are using this product too. Yeah. When you're in a group setting, you simply turn the goggles on and first thing you see is like what type of swim you want to do, whether it's a workout, whether you're following a plan, but then you can just go to pool swim, select the pool size you're swimming in, and then essentially just start a 
pool activity style train uh, session. And then you're just getting the data, uh, like you were saying, well, as you're following the workout with the group, but you're getting like, all that information while you're doing your intervals, which are, you, know, you can't get from the pace clock or the coach on deck. And that's where from a non-swimming background, it's really gonna help you like be you know, right on what you're trying to be doing. And then if you get you know, a piece of information from the coach, like, hey, I want you to put your head down or work on your catch or lengthen out your stroke by finishing down by your hip, you can start to see how that makes an impact in real time because you have that data. Whereas like, if you don't have the data and you get a tip on technique, you're kind of just guessing if it's working or not. Yeah. And then, and then too, on the back end, like you're, like you said, like you're really jumping in, you're, you're selecting pool swims, hitting the size and you're going on the back end, the way you guys collect all that data and present it to somebody who wants to maybe go back and like analyze their workout, I think is really, really clean. So, um, yeah, it's, that's, it, yeah. And that, I, I don't know how our machine learning teams do it, but like they are a, they're incredible. Like the way they are able to group data, make algorithms for the experience in the water, but also the post and uh, analyzation of the swim data. It's just fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah. So obviously, you know, we're partnering with form guys. So uh, if you, if you want to uh, hop in this thing, I literally just had the discount code here, but then I click off it. MVDM 2023. That's it. Right. Yeah. Yes. Just type it in the chat. And just order, okay. you go to formswim.com and you put the code in at checkout. Cool. Well, Scott, appreciate it. Uh, if anybody doesn't have any other questions, I think uh, we're a couple minutes over. So, um, yeah, that's it. Thanks uh, so much for having me on the call. And if you guys ever have any questions, uh, feel free to pass them along to one of the coaches. They can reach out to me. Uh, always happy to help. We also have an amazing customer service team. Uh, they're always available to answer any questions or help you out with anything that happens or does. It's going on with your goggles. We're there for you. Awesome. All right. Appreciate it, guys. We'll see you uh, next week. Have a great week, everyone. Cheers.